Bowser! Where were y'all before? Elephant in the room, I got a haircut. Wasn't planning on doing this today, but I guess so. Okay, I'll start from the top. Look at this, open and honest. That was me. That was me. It's okay, though. I will tell you what. Two years ago, I did some stuff. I'm sorry if you've seen some of the stuff. You know, I'm a changed person. This is going worse than I thought it was. Um, so two years ago... I did not have sexual relations with that man! I'm just kidding. I did. Possibly. <sighs> Catch out of bag. It's okay. Um, what else do I have to say? I don't know. Thank you to all my people that have been sticking up for me. I understand if you're bad. Shit hit the fan. I don't, don't go on Twitter. I, I deleted... No, I'm just kidding. I didn't delete Twitter. I have been cautiously avoiding it. It's like fucking landmines everywhere I go. Okay, I was dealing with some addiction problems. A couple of them. No excuse there. Uh, wait, I guess. Just trying to give you some background background here. What else was I going to say? Yeah, that was me. Um, I fucked up. I won't do it again. I'm just kidding. Um, well, I am dead serious about not doing it again. That was a dark time. Rough, rough time. 89,000? Who the fuck am I? Jinxie? Hey, love my brother Jinxie. Not like that, though. Just my brother. I don't know. Stay off Twitter, please. You know, I, I'm i owning up to it. That guy right there, his name is Sketch. And if you don't know who he is, well, I've been living under a rock. Now, he's a goober. He's a goofy guy. He does streams. He pretty much minds his own business. He's been making connections with people from like FaZe and uh, a guy named Jinxie. And he's been, you know, greasing palms, having fun, and just trying to build a, an entire following. And he's been doing it pretty well the last few years and the top, I mean, short time, by the way. And amassed quite a following. The only thing I have to say that I don't like, and it's not his fault, is his catchphrase, the what's up, brother. And uh, some other part, which was like, it's Tuesday, because everybody at work apparently liked to say it and got on my nerves. And people found out that it was, I just, I don't like repetitive phrases like that. And to add insult to injury... Somebody printed off a little wraparound thing of stickers that says, what's up, brother, and handed them out. So I am constantly annoyed by this 24-7. But other than that, I'm not here to down the guy. He did something he's not proud of. You know, there's a lot of people, if you've ever been at the lowest of your low, things happen. Now, I got lucky that when things were at its lowest, you know, I didn't have addictions that I couldn't control. Like I did tobacco products, that was about it. But I could control that, and I didn't have to subjugate to myself two things that I wouldn't agree with. Now, I assume that's where his embarrassment is, is he did things he's not proud of. And basically, instead of doubling down or trying to evade it, uh, you know, he went straight head first and went ahead and went with the punches. That I will commend him for. Having to swallow your pride and everything you're trying to hide and admit to something takes a lot. And uh, what I will say, while well, I don't condone, uh, I find it funny everything happening to the guy that exposed them. They did not let that slide. They 100% went after him with full force. And I just want to let him know, you are a jackass. You are a terrible person for going after somebody whose past was like, yeah, is it cringy and weird? Yeah, to me it was. You know, it caught me off guard. It is just out of nowhere. You know, he's dressed up as Wonder Woman, basically, is the picture I saw. And apparently there was a video floating around, which I, I, I can't look it up. I can't do it. I'm not going to subjugate myself to that. But, you know, it was his content, getting exposed. And for you to do that, and the dude did nothing to anyone. This is just a consenting adult uh, doing stuff with consenting adults for consenting adults. And that's it. He didn't try to get away with it on a Patreon like an Nisian did. He didn't try to skew the line by, you know, doing half-naked stuff on, like, YouTube. He made a choice. He regrets it, from what I can tell. And he's just trying to move on. But this person has decided to dig it up. For one, Sketch has never done anything to anybody that I've seen. There's not a clip out there that I can see where he purposely hurt somebody or went after anyone. So that's like strike one. You went after a guy who's pretty much a pacifist and a goofy dude who's doing nothing to anybody besides making some pretty good quips and making people laugh. Top it off, he's friends with people from FaZe and Jinxie, who's another rising, you know, streamer. 
So you're literally trying to expose somebody who's made friends with some, you know, high skilled, high uh, charismatic people. So you're literally just digging your own grave. But to get back on track of how Sketch handled it, in the video I showed you, it just shows, you know, first off, he was going to give up and he was just going to basically disappear. Uh, I hope him the best and I'm glad that somebody like him who's growing so much, uh, still young, he's a little younger than I am. But, uh, you know, developing his following, who apparently is not toxic. They they backed him up pretty quick. And that's the good thing about being such a genuine person. You're going to have genuine followers to where they're like, oh, God, he's gay? Oh, well. And then top it off, oh, he did OnlyFans? Mm, that's a little weird, a little cringy. It's a little gross. Okay. It's that simple. You made a mistake to you. You know, a lot of people would look at it as a mistake, but you do. And you're trying to, you know, do better as you would look at it you're trying to do better you're trying not to sell yourself like that so you can have a different type of following a different type of environment that's fine and i'm not trying to bash anybody that does only fans while i don't support it at the same time you want to go do it do it i don't give a shit you're not bothering me but in his mind it bothered him that he did it and he wants to overcome that now i'm pretty sure with his audience and with all the friends that's been supporting him jinxie included in that he's going to be okay for the most part now i'm pretty sure it's going to bother him still uh, you know, obviously it's been sitting in the back of his mind for years that since he'd done it, because he said his whole game plan was to just give up and go if it ever got released. Now, I don't consume his content uh, by choice, but I do see him on TikTok, clips of him, his goofiness, his funny uh, little quips, like I said. And while I've never had to, I can't just sit down and watch his content because it's not for me. Uh, I can say I support his content in every which way. Uh, as far as how he handles himself. I mean, he's a goofy dude. He makes people laugh and he's built a good following. Now I'll reiterate that following is going to protect him because of this. And I'm glad that he's going to come out relatively unscathed while probably, you know, a little bit timid from it, I'm sure. But uh, he'll still have his following. Now he's going to lose people for sure. There's going to be people that don't support OnlyFans so hard that they're just going to not want to deal with him anymore. Or there's going to be people like, well, I didn't know he was gay. I don't know if I can support that. But he's still going to have a strong, grounded following. He's still going to have his friends. And to that, I will say thank all you guys, too, for supporting somebody that has to deal with some asshat, thinking they just exposed and got this big journalistic integrity, you know, fucking story. And it was stupid. Instead of taking his time to probably be one of the first to break the news of, like, Dr. Disrespect, he went after somebody that's a goofball. Dr. Disrespect was outed as a very big problem. Because let's be honest, once you offend or are attempting to offend, you'll probably do it again. Uh, so that's why he's pretty much on the chopping block completely, and he's probably not going to be able to make the same return. Now, I still 100% believe he'll make a return and people will still donate, so don't count him out. He'll still make it. But Jinxie just seemed like he took a stray just because somebody decided to start their career. And from what I understand, I didn't get to look all this up, but the dude apparently deleted all his shit. And uh, another thing that I saw before he, everything went pretty much dark, uh, he was stating two things, or at least two stories I heard. Uh, he was doing this because he wanted to get a journalistic, uh, you know, story out there that would get clicks, that would get everybody, you know, riled up, and it would, you know, be a good story. And, well, yeah, it riled everybody up. It just pissed people off that you try to expose somebody that is a genuine person and not a, even a bad person. Like, he wasn't kicking cats, he wasn't beating up orphans, he wasn't chunking, uh, you know, mentally disabled people off the Eiffel Tower and pointing and laughing. And then the expose is just, he had an OnlyFans with a lot of lewd shit on there. Which is OnlyFans for you. You could have just said he had OnlyFans and everybody would have been like, what? Oh, I'm shocked. Anyway, it's Tuesday, get back to your gaming sketch. <laughs> I'm hoping you can get a laugh out of this and be like, yeah, I survived the time a idiot tried to expose me. Oh, and to get back to his other story, sorry. Uh, the second thing he was uh, apparently saying was he only did it because he wanted to see the reaction. He just wanted to see how Sketch would handle it. Boy, you probably just went broke trying to expose him. You're, you're never going to be able to go back to the internet. You will be continuously bullied. I'm going to be surprised if he doesn't get the same level, if not more bullying than like Wings of Redemption and Boogie. And one of them tried to scam their audience. So, yeah, you, you messed up big time, buddy. But Sketch, I don't know if you'll see my video, man. I hope the best for you. Um, you know, I I have no ill will towards you. I still don't like your what's up, brother. 
catchphrase at all. But I will say I hope that everything blows over. You can get back to what you were doing. Get back to enjoying yourself. Uh, trying to continuously go forward of whatever the, your addiction was. And I really hope I'm not putting my foot in my mouth and you're just trolling everybody and that really wasn't you. Just letting you know, you have my support. I don't know if that's going to mean shit because I'm basically a nobody. Anyway, I hope everything goes good for you. That's about all I got to say. Y'all have a good one.